go out for some drinks and some fun after work. They don't plan out how they will get home, and they decide to all drive home together with the person who drank the least driving. As a result of this choice, they end up hitting a mother and a child in an accident, killing both. All of the drunk passengers are fine. Everyone should be concerned about how DUIs are dealt with because they are a serious problem in today's society. I have researched many studies and the punishments for DUIs in preparation for this presentation. And I have concluded that punishment for receiving a DUI should be much more severe in North Dakota. I will talk about how big of a problem drinking and driving is, what the punishment should be, and how we can help the punishment become reality. The first thing I will discuss is how big of a problem drunk driving is in today's society. According to data gathered by the U.S. Department of Transportation, in 2012, there were 72 automobile fatalities as a result of drunk driving. These accidents accounted for 42% of all traffic deaths. This number is way too high. Almost half of all automobile deaths are a result of people drinking and driving. There must be something done to scare people away from drinking and driving. Many innocent people who are obeying tra every traffic law are struck by drunk, drunk drivers that are out of control. An average person trying to drive responsibly from one destination to another has their life ended by an irresponsible driver. This is extremely unfair and the consequences for committing this crime should be severe. Some say the effects of driving under the influence has is blown way out of proportion. Studies have been done to prove otherwise. David Hansen wrote in his article called Drunk Driving from Alcohol Problems and Solutions. The relative risk of death for drivers in single vehicle crashes with a high blood alcohol content is 385 times that of a zero blood alcohol content driver. And for male drivers, the risk is 707 times that of a sober driver. This proves that the fears over intoxicated drivers are justified. There needs to be a change in the punishment. Now that I've discussed how big of a problem drinking and driving poses, I will talk about what the punishment should be. And this chart shows the crashes and fatalities that have happened as a result of drunk driving over the years. And as you can see, it went up in 2011, and it's gone up even more since 2012 and 2013. And I have some pictures of crashes that happened in North Dakota. Some people may say that the punishments that I have proposed are too strict. Although they do seem harsh, it is necessary to have such stiff laws to stop a preventable problem that could save so many people's lives. The Canadian system of punishment is much like the one I have proposed, and the amount of drunk driving fatalities in Canada is much less than that in the U.S. comparatively. So I believe switching these laws would only save lives. As it has been tested in other places, and it seems to work. 
Now that you have the problem and the solution in sight, I will explain how the solution could be realistically carried out. As I have discussed, North Dakota's DUI laws are not nearly severe enough. The only way that that will change is if a change is made to the existing laws concerning the punishment for DUI offenses. The way that our government is set up, it is possible for people like you and me to do something about it. An easy and effective way to change this law would be to draft a legislation and then get a petition signed by many people. By simply signing your name, you could help save countless people's lives in the future. If enough people stand up for these laws, it could become a reality. However, until this change can be made, you must be careful to not drink and drive <coughs> or let anyone else drive drunk. David Hansen said in his article, Drunk Driving from the magazine Alcohol Problems and Solutions. Don't ever let your friends drive drunk. Take their keys, have them stay the night, have them ride home with someone else, call a cab, or do whatever else is necessary, but don't let them drive. No matter what the circumstances, do not let an intoxicated person drive. You could very likely be saving a life. If nothing else, do not let your friends drive drunk. I hope now that you understand how a solution to the problem of DUIs can be made. You will help do something about it. DUI punishment in North Dakota should be much more severe than it is currently. I discussed how big of a problem drinking and driving is, what the punishment should be, and how this punishment could become a reality. If there was an effort put into putting an end to the frequency of occurrences of drunk driving, Maybe the mother and child who were killed by the drunk friends could still be alive today.